Hello, fellow doers, and welcome back. With project management and daily tasks simplified, our project managers must ensure our clients are happy. And what is a more efficient way to measure their happiness than collecting feedback? After all, knowing what customers think about their experience helps us improve our products and services. It also shows how much we value their opinions and are driven to develop a positive relationship with them. Okay, Richie, but since we have more and more customers every day, is there a way to make this quick and easy? Oh, absolutely. Using Odoo, the process can be fully automated. So let's jump into our database to see how it's done. We're going to start off where we left off last time. We're going to first dive into the project module, as always, and turn on this setting, configuration and settings. Here under the analytics section, you have customer ratings. We'll enable that. And the first thing you'll notice is that two more options get turned on. One is rating when changing stages or periodic rating. When would you use either one? Well, the first setting will be most likely used for scenarios where a task will get completed more quickly, like a help desk ticket. The moment a task enters a stage, the email is automatically sent. Now, the periodic rating will be more useful for longer term projects that you might have the opportunity to change the stage more frequently. So you want something more periodic. This would be similar to what we do at Odoo, where once a ta task is in a project, it will stay there for a bit for a while, and we want to send periodic updates. So we'll save this. And now we have it turned on, we'll go to the project and enable it there. Now we dive into the repair service project we have, and we essentially want that when a task is completed, we say, hey, how do we do? So that's the done stage for us. We edit it by selecting the gear icon, and we can specify the email template as you see here. We'll do the rating request. Now if you expand on it, you can see what it would look like on the client's end, but with some alien language. We'll leave it alone for now. We can also essentially inform ourselves that, hey, when something goes right or wrong, to update the status of that task. And the status will be based on what's down below, blocked or ready. So we save this, and now let's test it. We have a task here by Abigail Peterson. My bike is broken. Now, essentially, we have an email assigned to her, and so we'll move it into the done stage. We perform the work, we're very speedy, and done. Pay attention to the chatter. You'll notice that the email is here. So let's see what she sees. Here we have the task email in her email inbox. She can see that she can rate it. We can select the happy icon because she's always happy with our services. My bike is as brand new as it was the day I bought it. Huzzah. And send the feedback. So now let's see what it looks like on our end. We go to the main dashboard, go to the project. We can see that her rating request has essentially been uh, indicated on the Kanban of the repair project. And we can even see it here in the task where the happy smiley face is there and the green icon. So green is good. We open up the task. We can see her notes in the notes of it. Even further, we can see a smart button indicating what's going on. And even further back, if we go to the repair project, we can also see the rating satisfaction here. This will always be displaying the last 30 days in that screen. We can even make it public on the client portal if necessary. And there you have it. Now you know how you can manage your ratings in your different services that you offer. Hopefully it's a lot more clear. If you have any questions, let us know. And stay tuned for the next video in this series. And as always, stay awesome.